He's so amazing. <laughs> Nathan. Yeah, how will you play with these instead? Yeah. Yeah. So it's day five, and let's see. <coughs> so it's day five, and um, the house is a mess, the apartment is a mess, and Nathan did not let me sleep at all last night. I woke up at least five times. Um, uh, I'm so tired. And last night we had just remembered that Nathan has an appointment in LA and um, at one and it's 1030 right now. And like I said last in yesterday's video that usually Nathan has physical therapy Mondays and Tuesdays and today he's supposed to have a day 11. But we texted the physical therapist and told him that we just found out. So he's just gonna come by um, a little earlier and then we're gonna hit the road. I just wanna stay in bed. Like he woke up, he went to sleep a little earlier though because you know I was saying he sleeps at like past midnight. So I put him to sleep like at 11, 11, 15 around there. He went to sleep and then um, he woke up probably like at 2.30. And then after 2.30, he woke up like at 4.15. I don't know why. And then I went back to bed and then I just heard him pooping. And, but he was asleep and I never let him sleep in his poop. So then I changed him while he was sleeping. Thankfully, he stayed asleep. And then he woke, he went to sleep and then he woke up at eight, I think. And then I thought, okay, you know, it's a 
a good time for him to wake up. But I was just so tired, so I told Brian. I, was like, I didn't even tell Brian. Brian got up. I just kept complaining of how tired I was, and then Brian got up and went over there with Nathan. But so yeah, so we're going to. I'm gonna clean up a little bit right now, and then get Nathan ready, and then we're gonna hit the road and go to LA. I don't even know if how cold it is today. I haven't been outside. I just want coffee. Can you still hear me in my mouth? Nathan. Nathan. <laughs> Are you ready? Hey guys, so um, as you can see, there is no video of like what went on after this morning. It's just that whenever we went, so we we left around. Our appointment was at one, and we left from here at eleven thirty. And um, I had no idea that the fire was still going on. Well, I mean, I didn't even know about the fire. The thing is, is that. Um, I had read about it, like I saw someone post it on, on social media, but I don't know why I just didn't think of it. I didn't check on maps to see if it was still going on, to check the traffic or anything like that. So probably 45 minutes into um, like driving over there, I decided, I decide, okay, let me just like look and see the map. So I check and then it's that. Uh, that we still needed an hour and 44 more minutes to get to UCLA and it was like 12 something and I'm and I'm just thinking oh my god we're not gonna make it and usually if we if we don't if we're late um they won't take us and we have to reschedule so there would just be no point in like driving other over there and then for them to tell us that and then another thing I'm so embarrassed to even say this and it I feel so bad but so as you guys saw on one of my videos where I talk about how I feed Nathan so there's like you know the little the cord that attaches to the bag and then in on that cord there's another cord that attaches to it so there's so that long cord and then there's this other one the last the one that I'm talking about is the one that they that we connect to his little button on the like his little tube in his in his tummy so usually what I do is Whenever we're done feeding, when I'm done feeding him, I disconnect the whole thing together. So I'll disconnect it from his tummy and then like either wash it or, or put it aside. But I leave it all together in the little backpack. But what Bryant does is he disconnects the, like the middle. So the long one and that little one, he disconnects those. And then he disconnects the one, like the, the other one from, so he leaves them separate. He leaves them separate. So then, um, when we're packing to leave to go to the appointment, I I go in and I just grab the backpack and I close it up. I, I even go like this with the little cord and I put it in and I and we leave. And then it was time to feed him. Like I, I could like he was already getting hungry. And this was on our way over there. And um when whenever I saw that that it so this was whenever I saw the maps and it was, you know, that it was gonna be a long time. Um and I was calling them, I also called them too to tell them to let them know that we were gonna be late. And she's like, okay, well, let me just talk to the front desk and see if you know we can get you in still, wait if the doctor can still see you guys. So I was like, okay, and then the call dropped and then I kept calling and then it said no service. So going up the hill like at the grapevine, there's no service. And, um, well, I have AT&T, I don't know if like, but, um, so I started noticing that he gets hungry, so then I was like, okay, so I started getting the bag ready and everything, and then I pull out the thing, and I'm like, and right away, I, I remembered that Brian was the one that disconnected him, so I was like, okay, you know, they were separate. He left him separate. 
So then I asked Brian, I was like, did you leave the other thing at the house? And then he's like, you didn't bring it. And then at that moment, I, I didn't, I froze. Like I did not know what to do. Like I couldn't get mad and I couldn't be mad at him either was because I should have checked. Like I should have checked to make sure everything was together, but I'm just so used to just getting everything or I'm just so used to it being together already. So I'll just grab the thing and then I'll put it in um, the backpack and we'll leave. But he's so used to it doing it separately and, and I get why he does it because I used to do it like that too. But um, after just doing it for so long, I just thought, you know, doing the whole thing, disconnecting the whole thing is easier. And um, so I didn't get mad or anything, but I was more upset at myself and more sad because I knew that he was hungry and we were still far away from home and I just kept thinking, what am I going to do? So then he was asleep at this time and then... I just thought when he wakes up, he's gonna, you know, he starts sucking on his pacifier really, really hard when he's hungry. And that's another thing. At first, I couldn't really tell, like, I can't, when, I can't really tell when he's hungry unless I hear his tummy growl or, like, he's really, really fussy or, like, I just know that it's been hours since he's ate. Because usually it's between two, two, two hours, two and a half hours, three hours. Between there, that's when we feed him again. And um, he's such a good baby, like, he won't cry. Like, he doesn't let you know anything, like, it's funny because um, some of Brian's family members, they'll they'll be holding him, and like pe even my family members, like they like he does people that he doesn't know that he doesn't usually see, he'll be there with them, and then like he doesn't want like he doesn't want to be with them, but he's just like, <laughs> like but he doesn't cry, like he won't cry unless you unless you know like. Um, someone one of our family members grabs him and is like oh my and like talking to him then he'll start crying like he's scared but like if you just grab him and you put him with like that that family member grabs him just put him puts him on their lap and it's just like you know with him he's just like like he's like he doesn't want to cry he doesn't want to make a big scene i don't know i think it's cute but then at the same time I'm like oh my baby but um so he doesn't let me know like when he's hungry so i always have to like make sure what time i last fed him um, like, and then just know, and then just watch his, like, signs, any signs that he gives me. So then, um, so then I told, I told Brian, we're not going to make it. Like, we're, we're just not going to make it. And then, um, so I was like, let's just pull off to the, the next exit, like, the first exit we see. Then we hit traffic, and it's the slowest traffic of my life. Like, we were literally just parked there for a while. And Nathan's still asleep, and then I'm just, he's gonna wake up right now. He's gonna wake up right now, and he finally wakes up. And then I can tell he's hungry because he's like sucking on his pacifier. So then what I did was, I had the bottle like the the formula, and I was dipping the pacifier and I was giving it to him. And you know how we're not supposed to feed him through mouth yet? Like I still do that every once in a while just so he can like taste it or whatever. So I kept like doing that, and he was like really into the pacifier, and then. Um, Finally, we get off of the we get off on an exit and then we turn around and then there's like no traffic So it's like straight home straight back home um, But then he starts crying and I'm just like oh my goodness like and then I start freaking out I had like the biggest headache. I hadn't ate all morning. I had the biggest headache um, he, He's just crying like and I and when it was because his diaper was wet too and um, So I, I'm sure it was because of that too but then I just felt so bad and then I just kept thinking ways and I was like, I swear if I had a bottle, I even told Brian, I swear if I had a bottle, I would have filled that bottle up and I would have given it to him. I was like, this is going to be the day that he takes a bottle. This is going to be the day that he, that he proves everyone wrong and that he first starts taking a bottle. But then, um, of course I didn't have a bottle. And then, um, so we get home and, and I even thought, cause usually Brian asks me like, do you want anything to eat? Cause we hadn't ate. And then I was like, if he asks me if I want something to eat, he can eat, but I'm not going to eat with my son not ha like have yet to eat. And um, then we finally get home and like we're rushing in, but he's so happy. It's like he knew that we were home and he's, I have him on my shoulder and we're walking up the stairs to our, our apartment. And then he's just like looking around and then we finally get here and we, I put him, I lay him on the, on the bed. He stretches and then he just starts smiling and he's like so happy and he just knows that I'm about to feed him. Like he just knows. And he also knows I'm about to change his diaper. I do all of that and then he's just a happy baby, just like that. And um, I didn't get to film anything else um, because we were just so tired. Uh, we ate, um, I went to go get a pizza and 
we've been really good with not eating out like I've been cooking and stuff but today was just one of those days where I was just like I I I need like bad carbs <laughs> I need to eat and then so I went and I got a pizza and then we came home and then we were watching a movie and then Nathan was in was on his swing he we my sister last night brought the swing and he's finally on his swing now and he loves the swing we just never brought it back it was always at my mom we had left it at my mom's house so now it's here and he loves it he stayed asleep there for a little bit and then I took him back to the bed and then he knocked out he was so tired too um but yeah that's pretty much what happened today today was just a I wouldn't say a bad day, but it was a long day. So now what I have to do tomorrow is I have to call and make an appointment. So, and not only that, we missed, like he missed his physical therapy too. Like he could have had his physical therapy, but I mean, it's okay. Oh, well, but I feel so bad because when I'm on a way over there, you can just see the whole sky like filled with smoke and it's like all red and orange. And like, you can, you can just like, obviously there was a fire, but I felt, I was like, I'm such a paranoid person when it comes to stuff like that. I was so scared. Well, I wasn't scared for myself, but I was scared for them, for the people that are going through, the, through that. So my prayers go out to all those people that are out there um, and those firefighters that, there was like so many trucks passing by us too on the emergency lane. And they were just going through and it's scary. Like there's just been so many fires. I know there was a time where there was just fire after fire and then this one. Um, but I hope everyone's safe out there and I'm um, praying for everyone that's out there. And I think I heard, I read that one person um, died in the fire, but yeah. And um, <clears throat> so I'm so tired. Right now Nathan's asleep. Um, it's 10, I think. And he's finally like starting to go to sleep early and hopefully he stays asleep last night he woke me up all like four times throughout the night and um i think i heard him you know he's like knocked out right now i hope he stays asleep um but yeah so tomorrow what's tomorrow tomorrow's wednesday i don't even know i don't even have the brain to think right now but um I know I said that, like, you know, I'm trying to do this whole vlogmas thing and keep my, the videos, um, every day for at least this month. It was just something that I wanted to start this channel off with, um, but I'm so thankful for all the people that have been watching. I still continue to get all these comments and messages saying, you know, that they're so glad I did this and I'm happy and, like, I'm, I really am going to try and put more of Nathan in the videos. It's just been hard. Um, with this whole moving thing and like we're trying to get our couches still we're trying to get our table We're trying to get everything settled in and um, and it's hard to to like film when your apartment's not really ready So I just filming right here next to the beautiful Christmas tree <laughs> And then I got my rocking chair back. I was at my mom's house and I love this rocking chair. Thanks to my dad But okay guys. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed all the cuteness um, from the beginning of this video, I swear Nathan can be, Nathan can be a handful, but he can also be so cute. He's getting so big and, and yeah. So thank, thank you so much for watching guys.